People living around a Valley High School say they are shocked and angry tonight over a racially charged act of vandalism. That's right, 13 Action News reporter David Schumann is live at Silverado High School where the offensive graffiti happened. David. Well, the track around the football field here became a canvas of hate this weekend. A man discovered a large spray painted N word, something that disappointed him and his friends enough for them to take action on social media. By the time our Chopper 13 flew over the Silverado High School track, the message of hate was covered over. But make no mistake, the N-word had been printed in big block letters, appalling people who saw it. That I was like, oh my gosh, you know, we need to bring awareness to this. I thought it was horrible. Fonte Jones learned of the graffiti after her coworker discovered it during a run at the track. I'm just not surprised. I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. I'm glad I was there by myself. Glad none of my friends saw it. I'm glad my kids didn't see it. Clark County School Police tell us there are no suspects at this time as they continue to investigate the slur that offended students as well. So it's kind of weird, you know, like, just, you think it's an open environment here, like everyone's supporting each other, you know? Fonte Jones put the picture on Facebook to share with her followers the hate that exists in our world. She wrote, quote, this is completely unacceptable and there should be zero tolerance for this type of behavior. As the mom of a high school student, incidents like this force Fonte into honest conversations with her child. You really have to teach them and make them aware of their history, you know, and let them know it's okay and they need to be proud and this is what they come from and there's nothing wrong with being who they are. I spoke to school police about what kind of punishment something like this could entail. I'll fill you in on that at 6 o'clock as well as take a look at some other recent incidents of racist vandalism around our valley. Sadly, this isn't the first one. Reporting live, David Schumann, 13 Action News.